Right, okay. So this is a TISA, yep. A TISA concealed toilet system. It's been leaking into the bowl, bypassing the washer on the plunger. So just a quick tutorial, nothing too complicated. Uh, do you want to hold that for me, Alex? Just shine that there, that's great. So like that and like that. They don't all come off like that. With some of them, you have to pop it out here or pop it out here. So you take that off. That one and that one. So this one was leaking the other night and the water was getting down into the kitchen ceiling and the water was dripping off of here. So because the fill valve was uh, spraying water out everywhere, it was getting onto the inside of this and coming along here and dripping down and underneath there. So that was a big problem. Turn these two. And you just pull it out. And it hooks in there on the top of the system when you tighten them up, that just swings over and locks it. <coughs> so you reach in, there's a tap, and you just turn off the tap gently till it just nips up. And then to take out the, fill, the flush valve, you put your hand in, click it off the bracket at the back, you kind of turn it and click it at the same time. There you go, and you twist it out and then lift it up and out it comes. It and the offending article was this thing, which I did change the other day for a generic one. Didn't really do the job, so I'll have that back. And what we've done is got the latest version, which isn't quite exactly the same, but it's it does the job. Goes on the same way, same sort of bracket. So it comes with a new basket and it comes with different size filling valve, uh, flushing valves, flushing outlets. So you get a 36 and a 40 something. So do you want to get your hand in there Alex, to see if you can? Out. I can't get my sausage arm in there unfortunately. Oh, sorry. Alright, let's try and try not to snap it, that would be a nightmare if that snaps. Daddy! Is it out? Yeah. Oh, fair play. So that came out. Look how easy that came out. So. Excuse the bad editing, but it's a tutorial. We're not, we're not doing a plush production. So I can take that out. Do you want that one out so it's the same size as the other one? If you think it's better, you better. Alright, we'll pop that one out. It just pops out like that. And that's gone. So they're pretty much identical. Okay, didn't have one on that one. No. Okay. No. Do you wanna do you wanna fit that basket back in then sure? Switch. It doesn't matter which way around. Uh, you want the opening that way? That way? Yeah, that, uh, that's the way it came out here. So. I might twist this. Yeah. It just pushes down. I hope so. You want to put a bit of fairy liquid on it or something? If it's a good time. It's just um, it's because it's so hard to get your arm in there. Things weren't designed for arms. No. <laughs> Look! Daddy, can... It's in the hole. Is it pushed down? No. Really? I'm going to put some soap on uh, On the ring. Don't snap it, will it? It's not going to snap. Kind of, you can feel it wants to go in. Oh, right. It wants a bit of soap on it. <sighs> I think it might be good, actually. It's hard to tell. It won't go down anymore. Oh, that, that'll do. If it won't go down anymore, that'll do. Just want to make sure there's no gap. But 
obviously you can have a look. But I think that's... Right, so if you hold that a second. Kind of... That's too dark to see. Can't get in there. Okay. okay. So, hang on. So if you come back here, we're yeah. going to take off the filling valve, because this is the cause of all the trouble. So, that shouldn't be very tight at all. And if it is tight, you want to be holding that bracket at the back so you don't snap anything off. So you undo that a bit. Tease it forward off that slot till it pops out like that. And then undo this. So that doesn't need to be more than finger tight because, as we'll see in a second when we get that out, there's an o-ring there, and that o-ring is what makes the seal. So get this out. How long has this taken to fill up, then, Alex? Oh, ages. Half an minutes. hour? Uh, ten minutes. Okay, so you come back to it. So it was very, very slow on the fill up, but we know we've got. It could fill at that sort of speed. But it was filling up at a little trickle, wasn't it? Just a grit. Yeah. So close that off. There was also a leak, wasn't there? Oh, uh, yeah, there was a leak coming downstairs, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a leak on the top of the valve. So, you get the new one. You're not filming there, are you? No. Okay, so there's the new one. There's the old one. Yeah. This is the genuine TESA replacement. It's uh, Universal now fits all their systems. So let's put that back in. It's preset to. Oh, that's on the on the flush valve. It's preset to six liters. Okay, so we pop that in there like that. Can't really show you. That's a bit tricky to show you, but. As long as that o-ring goes up inside the tube, then that'll do. And you screw the nut up. It's hard to see, yeah. Bring the tight. And then you pop it back in there. And just nip it up with that one. There's a little spanner. It just sits in there. Sits in there, yeah. Make sure the float's not going to drag up the back of the system. So, and then just give it a little nip. Almost nothing. Make sure the float rises, and then we'll just see if that fills it quicker. Oh, what a huge difference! Yeah, it yeah. sounds like it. Yeah, it's completely different. Yeah, yeah, much different. Mm. Yeah, that kind of thing. That's that's so. This thing is preset to six litres, it's just, uh, just over a gallon. Let's see if we can focus in there, yep. Mm -hmm. And you can move them up and down. Now it's set on the instructions to take this little, little tiny black rubber plug from there and put it into there. It's, it's so tiny and soft, I can't even get it back out now. I don't know what it does. So that is the TESA replacement for the other one. So. Yeah, I'll bring this one in now. Dips into the basket, swing it round to the room. Straight out the other side, so you can get it. Just get it halfway now, I suppose. That must be what this one is for the ice cream. Now let's ice see ice. if that's got it. Wow! We'll soon see if the um, here the flow. Yeah, let's see if it comes leaking past here. We know. Right, oh, so that has, let's just check. Okay, leak. okay, so it's located properly. We know it's located because we haven't got any any leak in there. Because yeah, I was tripping. Yeah, by now you'd, you'd have been like a river. Yeah. 
Because it would have been like... Yeah, sorry. It would have been like... Well, it was like that, wasn't it? was like that, pretty much. Just dripping all the time. Yeah. That's my water meter will tell you. So, let's drop that down. Yeah, you I wonder if we can get away with these cams. I don't think we can. We get a leak in, in there, didn't we? Yeah, so... There. It was spraying off the top of the, off the valve here. Yeah. And it was spraying onto this screw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, which I had to take out the other night. There it is. Hey. So the water was spraying off the bottom of the fill valve. Yeah. Running on along here. Yeah. And getting out and getting out and yeah. flooding into the kitchen. Large amounts of it. Yeah. So I wonder if these cans will reach now. If they, if they reach, we won't bother changing them. fraction like that so it's square on that's it so they're dead square these things won't break me this side no they won't catching it's catching yeah yeah, yeah. so we could change the cans or we could just leave them Let's see if there's any difference between the new cans Daddy. There's a difference between the new cams and the old cams. Really There's no difference, we won't change them. No, they're exactly the same, mate. There's no point changing No them. point. No. They're not broken. No point making trouble for ourselves. No. That goes back in there. One. Two. That's filled up already. Yes. That's, what's that? Ten times quicker? Oh, 100. Yeah. Yeah, don't make the same mistake I did. Just change it quickly, otherwise your water bill will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, change it quickly, or you'll end up with a massive water bill if you're on a meter. Yeah. Because it was leaking for a long time, wasn't it? Yeah, subtly, and then it just got worse and worse, and then by the time you do something about it, it's too late. So just do it quickly. So just nip that up. Yeah. See these two here, and then there's not much. Lost motion, just a tiny bit of free flow. That goes on there. No, it doesn't. It goes on there first. Push it across. Snap it around the back. And that's it. No leak. Yeah, no problem. So you've got half flush with your flush. Do. Another Hollywood production.